Hi, this is a quick video presentation from PickaWeb. This is a step-by-step -step guide to optimizing your Google My Business listing. And my name is Tony Messer, and I'll be presenting this for you today. And uh, I'm one of the founders of PickaWeb. We offer web hosting services to small to medium-sized businesses, and also our sister company, Maxima Local, covers web design, marketing, uh, online marketing, that type of thing. So first question, Google My Business, why bother? Well, Google My Business is Google's free offering for local businesses. It's completely free to get yourself listed there. And the reason that it's important is we recently did some research on over 540 uh, UK local businesses, B2B businesses, things like accountants, commercial cleaning companies, printers, training companies. And we identified that there were four main factors that separated the best in class, that's the top ranking websites, from lower ranking websites. And I've got a full report for you below the video. Just click on the link there, that'll take you to a full report where it just explains all of the different factors. But basically, in a nutshell, we're looking at well optimized pages, number of backlinks, number of pages, and finally, which is relevant to today's presentation, the number of Google reviews. And we'll come on to those in a moment or two, but it's important to just recognize that this is where Google My Business comes in because that's where you're going to um, get a higher ranking in the local searches. Because if you do a local search, you'll see something like this appear. And they call this the Google uh, three pack. It used to be seven businesses would appear, but they've shrunk it down to three. So it's even more competitive. It's even more important that you get a high listing, a high ranking. And that's what today's presentation is all about. We're going to show you what you need to do to, to achieve that. So the first thing is you need to add your business information. And here we're talking particularly about your name, address and phone or your NAP details, N-A-P for short. And you must make sure this is very important that these match what you have on your website. We'll come back to NAP um, citations in a moment or two. But the important thing is, as I say, is to make sure that they're consistent throughout. You always use the same details. List your business hours and also obviously link back to your website address, your URL. Next point is you need to add images and images are very important. Use interior and exterior shots of your premises, update your logo, maybe some team photos if, you've, if you like to do that. Um, if you've got some products, um, take some photos and show those. And basically be creative, show your personality. Now obviously if you're a restaurant that's probably going to be a lot easier for you can show all of that delicious food but likewise if you're say a mechanic or, or some other business like that do don't you know do show photos of yourselves maybe it um, some of the services that you offer your team your premises that type of thing next thing is to make sure that you get listed in the correct category and categories are very important for Google so you must choose the right one and they can be quite broad and they do give the opportunity to narrow right down to list yourself in exactly the correct um, category so for example if we take a steakhouse and a bakery you could both um, get list them both under the eating and drinking establishment but then you can further refine that down because they will have a subcategory for steakhouse and one for bakery so make sure that you get very very specific as detailed as you can the next thing, um, just coming back to this, is reviews. If you look at the local rankings, nine times out of 10, you'll find that the highest ranking websites have got more reviews than, than the others. And the, the important thing to bear in mind is that you just need to get into the habit of asking for reviews. And in the research that we did, it didn't show that the top ranking websites were getting dozens or hundreds of reviews, but they just had more than the lower ranking ones. So you, you don't, it's not a very high hurdle that you need to jump. Just get into the habit of asking for them. Start off with your best customers, you know who they are, just outreach to them and just ask for a um, for, for a review and give them a link back to your, your Google um, page. You don't need to go crazy, you just need to get a few and then start on a consistent basis asking for reviews. Just get in the habit of asking for them. And often when I speak to people they think, well, I, you know, I'm gonna be getting in people's face, they might find I'm a bit pushy. Don't worry about that people are often more than happy. They just often don't realize that you that you need them or that you appreciate them. So just get into the habit of asking for them. And don't forget reviews, they do aid the decision-making process. People do review them 
and the kind of comments that people will leave for you if they're if they're happy customers very persuasive um, text it's pure sold gold and um, definitely encourage that side of things so coming back to NAP citations, remember NAP stands for name, address, and phone. And Google looks out for authority websites, things like Yell, Yelp, 118, those types of services to validate your data. They're very easy to obtain. They're often free. It does take a bit of time to uh, get listed in, in a few of them. Um, and you just need, usually you'll just need the free listing. Just make sure that you're, you're, you're spreading, spreading your, um, your net as far as you can. And it really, it's just an ongoing monthly process. As I say, it can be time consuming. And if you haven't got the time to dedicate that to, to that type of thing, just go to Maxima Local, contact us. We can do all of that sort of thing for you, no problem. So quick wrap up then, Google three pack, very important to get listed there, get a higher ranking. And it's the well-optimized listings that are gonna get the higher rankings. Make sure you put all of your business information in there. Make sure that you add your logo and your images. They are important. And basically try to show your personality. Make sure that you get yourself listed in the correct category and just start getting review reviews. Start with your best clients and get into the habit of asking for reviews. And finally, do get those NAP citations on an ongoing basis. So just finally, if you do need any help with your online marketing, we're here for you, we can help you. Sometimes it's good just to have a chat and just find out what the options are. We can definitely help you. We've also got a free book called The Website Survival Kit and you can get your copy instantly, instant download from our website at Maxima Local. Just click on the button there and, uh, and you can access the, uh, the book. It's a great book, get some really good feedback from it. It's very easy to understand and it gives you an exact plan of what you need to do. Okay, well, thanks very much for your attention and we welcome any comments below. Thanks very much then.